Hello guys, we are in St. Louis, Missouri. We St. literally Louis, baby. just landed. We are in town for a couple days. We have a wedding with, or one of Gerald's friends is getting married in St. Louis. And then we have another wedding with his family in New Hampshire in a few days. So we kind of have like a long 10 day stretch of travel. Figured I would kick the vlog off here. We are going to try to vlog as much of it as possible, but we'll also we're also gonna try to live in the moment and enjoy. So this <laughs> might be sporadic, but you know what? We're here and we're about to go to dinner. We literally just ran up to the room. Okay, sorry, camera just died. But we literally just checked into our hotel and changed so, so fast. And we're about to grab dinner with Gerald's parents who he hasn't seen in years. So I'm just gonna show you guys the view and then we're going to dinner and I will talk to you in a bit. Pretty sunset. How bad for Missouri? Which way does the sunset here? Uh, sunset this way. So the sunrise will be incredible. Wow. Yeah, we'll check it out tomorrow morning. Okay. Good morning. We obviously did not vlog last night. We went to dinner with Gerald's parents just here at the hotel, and then we literally went like three blocks down the street and met up with a friend of his at a bar and had a couple drinks. And then came back and passed out and that was that. I literally slept for so long. Like Gerald left and went and picked up our rental car and came back and I was still in bed sleeping because I just like needed all the sleep. I got up super early yesterday because we were traveling. So that's what happened last night. You didn't really miss much. And now we are about to get ready and just he's gonna like take me around and show me around because I've only seen like a tiny bit. So he's gonna show me around St. Louis a little bit. We're going to go to a coffee shop. We actually have a funny recommendation. So our favorite coffee shop in LA, the barista gave us a recommendation in St. Louis. So shout out to Brandon, shout out to Brandon at Minotti's. Um, so we're gonna go try the place that he recommended. I need some coffee stat. And are we gonna go to Emo's? Uh, maybe there, we'll get it for sure. Maybe not today though. Emo's is this, it's a pizza place? Yeah. It's a pizza place that I've heard him talk about one million times and I think I've even tried their pizza because it's one of those places where you can like have it shipped because it's that famous. Um, but like I already have gotten a bunch of DMs on Instagram for people telling me I need to go there so we might go there today. But yeah, he's just gonna show me around and then we have the wedding that we are in town for later tonight. So we're gonna keep it pretty low key for this afternoon so that we can like come back and prepare for the wedding and then go to that. Um, I also ordered a bunch of stuff from Boohoo and I was afraid that it wouldn't arrive before our trip So it got shipped to the hotel and it was waiting for us when we got here And I just opened it all up and it's so cute. So I'm going to give you guys a little try on of everything Okay, so we've just been driving around St. Louis for like the last like hour and a half or so and we stopped at this coffee shop. I, I already told you guys this, I forgot. We stopped at the coffee shop that Brandon from Minotti's recommended. It's pretty good, but it's not Minotti's. I feel like nothing is as good as Minotti's. Um, we are currently picking up Emo's Pizza. I've heard Gerald talk about this place so many freaking times and I've tried it because we've gotten it shipped to us, but obviously it's going to be different when it's fresh. So he just ran inside to pick that up and we've just been driving around. It is like so not what I expected. I feel like I thought, I guess obviously St. Louis is a city, but when I thought Missouri, I literally thought we we're going to be like in the middle of nowhere and it was going to be like so country. Um, but I was surprised that like how much more of a city it is and also how old everything is like literally every single building is made of brick it's wild 
and they're just like these grand, like big buildings and houses that I totally was not expecting. So it's really pretty. And we're just kind of like driving around. He's showing me everything and I'm really hungry. I'm excited to eat. That's all the update I have for now. I am now rambling, so bye-bye. <laughs> What you got there? Okay, we are just getting ready for the wedding now. I just finished up my makeup. I'm very glowy here because it's so humid that I feel like I'm just like extra dewy and I didn't think that through. I should have brought like maybe more like powder or matte makeup. So we'll see how this holds up. I'm gonna do like another round of setting spray to hopefully keep it in place. But I feel like as you can tell, I am very dewy because I'm used to like my normal makeup routine for LA where it's a lot drier. Anyway, I'm super excited about my outfit for the wedding. It's this dress that I had my eye on and I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it. I like, it was pre-ordered and I went on like a mad hunt. I ordered it like three different versions, three different colors from three different places in different sizes to try and like figure out which one would work. Are you naked? Yes. <laughs> okay. We're redoing that because Gerald just walked naked into the background of the frame. Stop oh, being naked behind me. I need my phone. <laughs> Girl. Anyway, I went on a hunt for this dress because it was pre-ordered in my size and it wasn't going to come in time. So I was like buying different sizes. I was buying different colors. I was buying it from different places trying to figure out if I could find one that would work for me. And the last one that showed up was this really pretty pink one. If you could see it hanging there. A little brighter than I was going for, but it honestly looks really good with Gerald's suit and I got these shoes that I've also been eyeing. I'm just very excited about my outfit. So I'm gonna put it on and I will show you guys and Gerald's dad is gonna drive us to the wedding because it's like 30 minutes from here. Um, and that's that. Okay, I will give you guys a better look at the dress. One second. I haven't tied a tie up. <laughs> Okay, here she is. I am obsessed. I love the back. And then there's like a really high slit on this side, borderline too high. Like I kind of wish they made it an inch lower, but I still think this dress is so stunning and it comes in like so many colors. And then these are the shoes I've been eyeing. I need to figure out if I have them tied correctly, but let me show you guys in the actual mirror. Oh. Let me see. I love when hotels have a full length mirror. She cute. Hey. Excuse me. <laughs> hey. Uh. Um, okay. So yeah, a really high slit on this side, like literally so high. Like this is my butt cheek. Um and then the back is stunning. That's obviously what made me want the dress. And then these shoes I've been eyeing, they're super cute. They like tie around the ankles. I need to figure out if I have them tied right. And it would be great if this would focus. Hello. Okay. Apparently we are not focusing, but they're nice. And okay, why? You can't see anything because we're not focusing right now. We look good. I don't know how I feel about the collar, but I'll, I'll survive. Why? You think it looks good? Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so the shoes, they're really low, so they won't hurt my feet if I'm dancing. Um, I don't know why this refuses to focus, but these are our fits. We're getting off in four miles. That's the electricity in the Whoa! Yeah. And if I were you, I would post up once we get there and sell the tablets. Yes. Okay, good morning. It is Sunday morning. It's Father's Day, so we just finally got ourselves up. We slept in again. It's honestly been so nice because we don't really ever sleep in. Like, even on the weekends lately at home, we haven't slept in, so it's very nice. But just got dressed. I'm wearing one of the outfits that I got sent from Boohoo. It's so freaking cute. 
this little set um with like the orange and pink and we are about to go get coffee on instagram i asked for recommendations for coffee shops here and we're gonna go try one of the ones that's near our hotel and half and half yeah it's called half and half um we have a little bit of work to do today and then we're obviously gonna meet up with gerald's parents because it's father's day and he hasn't spent a father's day with his dad in like how long shit probably four or five years yeah so that's exciting mm -hmm. um but that's the plan we're going to get coffee at the moment. You guys, some Michelle of these started. <laughs> Michelle just started clapping when she saw a pretty house she liked. Like, look, this one is, all of them are brick, but that one is painted white brick, and it just looks so chic. So I would like to go knock on their door and tell them that I really appreciate how they decided to paint their brick white and stand out from everyone else. If you are from Missouri, and you're watching this. Paint your house brick. Paint your, or paint paint your house brick white. white. <laughs> if you have a brick house, paint it white. It looks so good. If you've got a brick, brick house, house, paint it white. Paint it white, paint it white. Uh, encore. When you've got a brick house, paint it white. Oh. Um, we have just arrived at half and half. In the posh -nosh. Whatever that means. It's the poshest place to nosh. So, we are gonna get half and half and the posh nosh now. You guys, our coffees, look at the color of them. They're so light. I feel like there's no way this can be good. Like, look at Gerald's. We watched the it's guy just dump just so much like, milk. It's like milk, it's like a cup of milk. This does not look like a latte. We're gonna give it a sip. We're gonna try it, but we do not have high expectations. No. We are coffee snobs, and we know that, and that's okay. Ready? Watch it be like really good. Oh wait, look, it's starting up a little bit. A little, but like, I still don't think that's the color I like my coffee. Cheers. It's just super It's really sweet. sweet. It's not like that coffee. It's just really sweet. I mean, it tastes like kind of like, you're basically like drinking, Starbucks level sweet. You're drinking like a slightly caffeinated it's, sugar. Okay, but milk. it's better than I was expecting. I thought it was going to taste like straight up oat milk. That is oat milk, babe. Oh, sweetened oat milk. Well, we're just drinking sweetened oat milk. Um, do you want to get food at the Posh Nosh? At least something small. Do they have good food? Um, for me, yes. For you? What about for me? I want the lobster bisque. For breakfast? It's 12. For lunch? Yeah. Okay. We are moving on to coffee shop number two. What did you say? So I just can't get good coffee in this town. I haven't even tried mine yet. I think the coffee's good. They just forgot my vanilla. Oh my god. First of all, it's literally not okay, mixed. It's warm. It's fucking warm. Like I literally just had a sip of like only warm syrup. Lavender. Warm syrup. Like. <laughs> All right. Well, don't come to St. Louis for coffee. Come for the weather and the people. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna stick to LA coffee for me. It's so sweet. Let me see. <laughs> no. I'm like. Why is there so much sugar? We need to mix yours and I's, mine's together. Yeah, we have to. Wait, literally yours is not sweet at all. Mine's way too sweet. What if he put it, what if he accidentally did like double in mine? How do we mix them? Can you go ask for another cup with ice? Please. <laughs> we'll get it from somewhere else. Okay. Oh god. A broken heart is all that's Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Round three. Cheers. 
It's still so sweet. It's still too sweet. Oh my God. Okay. I got Starbucks. I don't really like Starbucks coffee that much anymore, so I got- She's a coffee snob. I am a coffee snob, at least I know it. So I got um, an iced black tea, and this will Seat be up. my caffeine for the day. Hey, I don't even have a sip yet. What the heck, eat? Hey! Yeah, what is I it? asked if you wanted what one. What is it? It's an iced black tea lemonade. Guess we're sharing. <laughs> I what asked if you wanted one. I didn't know you were gonna get something that good. <laughs> It's so good, right? It's so good. I know. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning, I believe. I feel like days on vacation literally don't even matter. Um, but Gerald went to play golf with his dad this morning, and I just had like a super lazy morning. I stayed in bed. I got a little work done. I just showered. I was going to go do a workout, but... I procrastinated for too long and we're supposed to go do a tour with the um, general manager of the hotel because we're working with the hotel. So they wanted to give us a tour of like some of the new spaces they're opening up. They're doing like a rooftop restaurant that we really wanted to go to but it's not finished yet. So I'm about to go do that. Hopefully Gerald will make it back in time to come with me. Um, I just threw on this hat to cover my dirty hair because I didn't feel like washing it today. And I realized I haven't even given you guys a tour of our hotel room. So after they come and clean it up today and it looks a little bit more presentable, I will show you guys around the room. Um, we're staying at the Ritz Carlton St. Louis because it was really close to Gerald's parents. We wanted to be able to like see them as much as possible. So we are on the top floor and the view is stunning. I don't even know if I've shown you guys the view. What the heck is wrong with me? Um, this is our view with all of downtown St. Louis there in the distance. You can even see the arch. We are headed out with Gerald's parents to get lunch. We're going to a deli. Blue City Deli. Blue City Deli. It's like Apparently one of the best delis in St. Louis. And I always complain that LA doesn't have good delis. They don't have like the kind of sandwiches that I'm used to on the East Coast. And Gerald says, that's what this deli is, so. Well, I wouldn't say that it's the, the type but of delis closer, you're used to on the East closer, Coast, but it's a really good sandwich spot. I'm excited. Anyway, we'll see you at sandwiches. Bye-bye. lunch I never showed you guys our room so I'm gonna show it to you now because it just got cleaned even though there's still some stuff out because we have definitely made ourselves at home um, okay so this is like when you walk in hello this is our bathroom situation it's really pretty everything is all marble like the prettiest shower and it has this fancy little lighted mirror in there that like doesn't fog up it's really cool and I love a shower bench situation and then this little screen is the coolest thing I've ever seen it's a TV on the mirror if it would turn on There we go. Isn't that wild? You can literally watch TV while you're getting ready in the morning. I need that in my future home. Um, and then we have a little toilet in there. And then you go this way. And this is the main room. There's Gerald. And I mean, it's pretty much just a standard hotel room, except this balcony situation, it's that locked, is glorious. Literally the prettiest view. 
and the sunrise is in that direction so it's like really pretty when we wake up in the morning and we get like really pretty light in here throughout the day this little chaise next to there to enjoy it and yeah that is pretty much the room okay i'm going to show you guys everything that i got from boohoo because like i said i had a bunch of pieces shipped here and I have good lighting right now and I have no idea what the next hotel we go to will look like so we're gonna do a quick try on everything I got so this is the first set Gerald thinks it looks like pajamas but I think that it's super chic it obviously has the two-tone with the pink and the orange and these are like the colors of summer i'm obsessed with them i can't get enough so i feel like this is so cute i am wearing a size four in the top and the bottom my little bralette is just from nasty gal um and the quality feels like really nice it's kind of like a silkier material and you could obviously wear this top just on its own or the shorts but i just think that they're so cute and i can't get enough of it i already want to Alpha repeat it even though I got a picture in it already. I had like the sleeves rolled. You could also have it buttoned and like tuck one of these in. I'm just very into it. So grab it while you can because I feel like this will for sure sell out. Then I got this really cute, it's like a bandeau top and then this tie is detachable. So I have it like tied in a knot and around my neck. I feel like these kinds of tops are so flattering. I have a bikini like this and just like the little V shape that it gives right here is like very elongating. So good for my short girls. And then I have these pants, if you can see. Put my shoes out of the way. Um, they're so cute. What is this called, babe? What is this? They're not like ribbed. What is it? It's a ribby. I feel like it has a better name but you can see they're shiny i guess they're ribbed and they're super long and they have slits i don't know if you guys can see my feet they have slits from like the calf down i definitely need to wear heels with these but i just feel like they're very chic but they're also like lightweight not hot so really good for summer but like cute nighttime vibe we're going to new york so i feel like i'll probably wear these in new york and Maybe a little jacket over this, but I'm very into it. It's very chic. Okay. Then these are both that like same shiny ribbed fabric. This top is really cool because it's all one piece. It doesn't have a tie or anything. It's just stretchy and you just put it on around your neck. I don't know if there's other ways you could wear this, but this is I think how the model had it on. And I'm very into this shape, as you guys can tell, and this material and this color, just everything. And then I don't know if I would necessarily wear it with these pants, but these are a tighter version of those last ones. They have a tie here. They are full length again. No slit this time. Um, I feel like these are not as forgiving because they're a little bit tighter, but still very cute, chic vibes. I'm not sure how much of my vision came through on this one. These are actually, I think, like a beach, a beach cover up set, but I was envisioning like heels in New York, like this tucked a little bit and just a chic, flowy vibe. I don't know how well I'm executing. You guys will have to be the judge of that, but still be super cute, like over a bikini. And it's like nice and lightweight, good for summer. And I love this color. So I might have to change up my vision a bit, but I feel like I'll still end up wearing this. These tops are like so popular right now. So I had to snag this one. It's really cute. It's like a little rainbow halter. Pretty much backless, which is very nice and this one doesn't have ties either so it's not adjustable but it fits well and i feel like you could even like knot this if you if you needed to also if you wanted like some more support 
but this is just like an easy summer top. I'm very into it. I love the colors. This is another top that I feel like they're super popular right now with like the exposed seams. And this one is cute. It has a little lining underneath so it's not sheer. It's like very cropped. So I feel like if you have larger boobs, you would definitely need to size up in this. Otherwise you're gonna have a little under boob situation unless you want that. And again, I'm just very into the lime green for summer. So this is another good basic. Open the door. I don't have no hair nuns. Okay, we are heading downstairs to the restaurant in the hotel for one more appetizer. We went there on the first night and their burrata was so freaking good. So we're heading downstairs. They're gonna give us like a little tour and we're gonna have some burrata. And then we have dinner with one of Gerald's friends. Baby squirrel. Baby squirrel in the house. Oh my god, Baby it's so squirrel. cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's going upstairs. No, no, no. Don't go upstairs. Don't go upstairs. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so cute. <gasps> hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, pal. Where is he? He's right here. Hey, pal. Hey. Oh my god. He's so cute. Hi. How did you get in here? He's 
so cute. <gasps> yeah, he's right there. Oh my god. Open the door, open the door. Oh my god. He's so cute. You wanna go outside? Oh my god. Sir. <gasps> Bye. Bye. Uh oh. <laughs> he's in the bathroom. He's so small. He is so cute. This is not your home. Hello, Baba. Hello, where are you? Oh, oh my god. Hello. Oh, Hello. he's scared. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay here. Here you go. He's bye out. bye. Yeah. See bye, you. Buddy. Thanks for visiting. Bye. <laughs> okay. I wanted to show you guys what we're working with here because I feel like describing it doesn't do it justice. So I'm going to give you a quick little tour. You just of, made a friend, a chipmunk in the house. Yeah, a little freaking baby squirrel just came in the house. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, but I want to show you guys what we're working with here. We are staying in the cabin in the woods, which is the largest of six off-site cabins that this little inn has. So, so this is the front door. When you walk in, we have these little benches outside and we even have a welcome sign for Gerald's family. Well, I guess for him, for us, I don't know. Okay, anyway, this is the front door. It's our little cabin kitchen. We have a little bathroom right in there. Cabin sign. This is like the main dining and living room area. It's really nice, we have a fireplace there. It's been kind of cool at night. And then out back, we have this really nice patio, little deck. We have a picnic table to eat at. We have like stunning mountain views. We watched the sunrise here this morning. And then we also have this hot tub, which is amazing. And then back through here, I will show you guys upstairs a little bit. That's where the bedrooms are. So we have Gerald's dad staying in this bedroom. Another bathroom, just standard. And then this is the master bedroom. So we have like mountain views out here. And just a cute little bedroom. Also has this like window that opens up to the living area. And that's that. Hello, vlog fam. Hello. Long time no talk. <laughs> um, it is the next day. Last night was the wedding. I know we've been terrible at vlogging, but we're starting over now because we are about to part ways from Gerald's family and just be on our own for the next like four days. And we're heading to New York this afternoon. So this is basically where the real vlog starts. Um, Currently, we are lost in the woods in um, New Hampshire. So, a little backstory is we checked out of our cabin this morning, and Gerald's family wanted to go do a quick little hike, like a 20 minute hike. And we all, First of all got this that's, coordinate. That's the type of family I have. Yeah, that's his family. They want to like, hike after we like drink heavily. We just had a wedding, and now they're trying to go on a fuck. What? I'm one of those, they're one of those families. <laughs> What the fuck, guys? I never even thought about it. Uh, okay, so anyway. They go on turkey trots on Thanksgiving and no, Christmas and shit. No, no, no. I signed oh. up for one of those ones, but I didn't go. Anyway, so <laughs> we all get this coordinate and we all punch it into our phones and we get lost. And then we call them to ask where they are and they're all lost. There's five cars of people. We're all lost. There's in no the woods. service. There's no cell phone reception. So we ended up meeting up with everyone and now we're just like following each other to the hiking trouble. We're literally lost in the woods. Um, in the middle of Matt, where are we? New Hampshire. We're gonna we're gonna get there, and we're just gonna hug everyone and goodbye, and then we're gonna turn back around if we can yeah. even figure out how the fuck to get. It doesn't out of even here. mean. For all we know, this is closer to where we're going. Maybe. Anyway, Probably we not. are going to just head straight to Boston, where we're gonna drop off our rental car, go to the train station, and take a train to New York and make it just in time to have some bomb ass food. So we booked this hotel in New York. I'm so excited. Um, we are on like one of the top floors of a pretty high rise building and 
the it's like a king size bed and the bed is like flush up against all the windows it's a tiny room new york style but who cares because it's floor to ceiling windows and we have like a beautiful city view and we made sure that we were on one of the upper floors so we're gonna have like an amazing view we're gonna be squeezed into a tiny room Guys, like we're true lost new yorkers again. Oh, look, we're fucking look. lost again we're lost again can't make this shit up like, this is the whole family <sighs> i just i'm hungry i have to pee This is like such a family thing that would happen. I feel like this never happens when you're with friends. Anyway. Are we lost again? You, you sure? Said we're not lost. Um, so that's the update. We will probably check in with you guys in a bit when we get on the road headed to Boston. And I'm so excited to take you guys to New York with us. Okay, bye. <laughs>